We'd like to demonstrate the Landis Attendant Console for Microsoft Teams PC desktop app. We've had a web app for some time, and now we have a discrete PC app that uh, makes the experience even a little better. So a few things that this brings to Attendant Console. It, of course, brings an application that's very easy to find. It uh, doesn't get lost among browser tabs. It allows global keyboard shortcuts, so it also allows quick access shortcuts to be assigned a global keyboard shortcut. It brings a pop-up incoming call toast outside the app. And finally, you can suppress the Teams toast to make your experience just a little better. We'll demonstrate some of these things. So. Of course, the application, you can grab on the title bar, you can maximize, you can uh, zoom the UI to a nice size that you like, and that will be saved. And of course, down here in the taskbar, you can take a look at your app easily out tab between applications. The other thing you can do, both the web app and the desk PC desktop app have keyboard shortcuts that can be defined, but the PC desktop app also allows you to make these keyboard shortcuts global. So what this means is you can be in another application, let's say Microsoft Word, and a call comes in and you have F6 assigned to answer, you can press F6, answer the call, and literally if you have a keyboard shortcut access or quick access shortcut to a contact, you can actually use another key to transfer to that contact. So completely doing a transfer without even being in the application using keyboard shortcuts. So we know what keyboard shortcuts are. What are quick access shortcuts? Well, quick access shortcuts are kind of like macros for common receptionist tasks. You can do things like transfer or call a contact and assign a keyboard and have a menu item that you can click on to do that. So touch your keyboard or mouse. You can also, here are the items, you can set a presence, including for how long. You can change the audio device, let's say from a headset to a speaker. You can also do power automate flows, run power automate flows. So do things like maybe open a gate using a menu item or a keyboard shortcut. And so all of these can be, this is quick access shortcuts are in both the web app and the PC desktop app, but you can uh, in the PC desktop app, you can make these global. So you can define a short keyboard shortcut and then make it global, which makes things really flexible. So let's, let's demonstrate this. So I'm gonna open a, uh, a notepad and I'm gonna, why don't we just click on the shortcut and you can see some of the shortcuts we have defined here and go back so that I'm actually working in my notepad. All right, the fox jumped, and then I wanna go control one. And you'll notice here, even though I was not, uh, the attendant console did not have the focus, I set my presence away for about 30 minutes. So that also works for answering a call and anything else that you have set to global. So that can be quite powerful. Then the last thing, we have a pop-up toast for incoming calls. Let's just demonstrate how that looks. So I'll bring an incoming call here. And there you see the call coming in. And we can, and there you'll notice the Teams toast came on top of it, but we can, can answer this by clicking on the attendant console. And we could, I think we have a quick access shortcut to a sales group. We could click on that with just one click or a keyboard shortcut, even a global shortcut, we could transfer that call. So there you noticed, we just demonstrated the incoming call toast outside of the attendant console. And this brings up, since this is a Landis feature, it makes some interesting possibilities for the future very much uh, possible for us, adding additional context on that toast. But one thing you'll notice is, you probably noticed, is that the Teams toast, if it was running, if the Teams client is running, their toast might come on top and 
This is a common multi-application problem, and what we've done is some additional uh, additional functionality that you can actually suppress the Teams notification, so you don't see that. So just turn that on, I'll bring a call in, and so now it should work really smooth. Call comes in, and you don't even see the Teams toast. You can answer, and there it works. So these are just a few of the features that are enabled when using the, we're kind of showcasing the features that are enabled when the, using the PC desktop app. But there are many other configuration options in the Landis Attendant Console for Microsoft Teams. And uh, the PC desktop app edition illustrates very well the Landis commitment to making the best Attendant Console experience for Microsoft Teams. And you can be using our Attendant Console in minutes. No need to create back-end queues and other complex configuration. You just go to ac.landis.cloud and sign in with the Teams voice-enabled user, give permissions, and start efficiently, efficiently handling and transferring calls. Thanks for listening.